Hey guys, Blazin here. Today, in this video, I'm going to teach you all about Power Crush. Not only how to counter it, but also any additional information the game doesn't offer. See, the inception of this video came from, well, I checked the arcade quest, which I should have mentioned that in my, in my first guide, where, you know, don't ignore the arcade quest. The arcade quest is also a great tutorial that teaches a lot of base mechanics in Tekken 8. And one of the things I noticed is that it does showcase Power Crush and like just the basics of what it does, but it doesn't tell you the negatives of Power Crush and any other additional information that the game doesn't teach you. So that's what this video is for. So let's start off by telling you guys that there's actually a difference between high Power Crushes and mid Power Crushes. The biggest difference is that high Power Crushes are actually safe while mid power crushes are all punishable. In the case of the high power crush, even though it's safe on block, it is a high, so you can duck and punish with your while rising launcher. Something else interesting to note is that even if your moves get absorbed by a power crush, there is actually a window of opportunity where you can actually block again, instead of getting outright fucked. However, if that happens, this makes power crushes safe on block, even the mid ones. Another thing to note is that power crushes are not invincible. They have startup frames and can be interrupted before the armor property kicks in. Alright, now for the two biggest things Power Crush loses to. That being lows... ...and throws. And finally, you can use your own Power Crush to counter their Power Crush. Now we move on to Heat Burst, which does have Power Crush properties. If you don't know what Heat Burst is, it's basically your Heat Activation button. I don't know why they called it Heat Burst, why not just call it Heat Activation? Just like Killer Instinct, where you activate Instinct Mode? Anyways. When it comes to the Power Crush properties on Heat Burst, uh, it's a little special, and uh, you'll see as we go through it. So Heat Burst still has the same properties as normal Power Crushes. The startup frames can still be interrupted, still possible to block out their absorption, and is still susceptible to both lows and throws. The two biggest differences between Heat Burst and a regular Power Crush is that Heat Burst is plus one on block, and Heat Burst can be Power Crush. And that's pretty much it on Power Crush. Uh, if I missed anything, you guys can always let me know down in the comments. And, uh, you know, if you like the video, please hit the like button, share the video around, and if you enjoy the content on this channel, consider subscribing. And until next time, peace.